Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. ABCD is a quadrilateral. What is a quadrilateral? Quadri, that is 4. So any polygon with 4 sides is called a quadrilateral. Is AB plus BC plus CD plus DA, that is, is sum of the four sides greater than AC plus BD, where AC and BD are the diagonals of the quadrilateral. So here also we will follow more or less the same approach. So you see the diagonals, they have actually divided the quadrilateral into smaller triangles. So you have triangles like this ABD. A, B, C, you also have smaller triangles like this. So if, if you call this as point O, so you even have triangles like this, A, O, D, A, O, B, etc. So here, since we are dealing with the sides and the diagonals, so we will consider those triangles which involve the side and the entire diagonal. So if we take the smaller triangle, it doesn't involve the entire diagonal, right? So let us opt for the bigger triangles like this. So let's say if we consider A, B, D, so it involves the diagonal, it also involves the sides. So let us talk about triangle A, B, D. So in A, B, D, the property that sum of the lengths of two sides is greater than the third side is true. So we can say A, B plus A, D is greater than B, D. So this is our first relation. So here also if you observe, we are trying to keep the diagonals on the right hand side. Similarly, let's look at triangle ABC. So here AB plus BC is greater than AC. So likewise, we will focus on triangle ACD. So in ACD, we see that AD plus CD is greater than AC, which is our equation 3. And finally, in triangle BDC, we find that BC plus CD is greater than BD, which is our equation 4. So now what we do as expected, so we are going to add up all of these. So what we will do is we will add 1 and 2. So when we add 1 and 2, what happens to the left hand side? So on the left hand side, we get AB plus AD plus AB plus BC, plus AD, plus CD, plus BC, plus CD. So this is what we get on the left hand side. This greater than BD plus AC, plus AC, plus BD. So on the left hand side, what we get is, we see that every term is repeated twice. AB is two times, AD is also repeated two times, BC is repeated two times. CD is also repeated two times. So basically we can write it as two times AB plus BC plus CD plus AD. So this is our left hand side. And on the right hand side we see that AC is repeated two times, BD is repeated two times. So here also two times AC plus BD. So this 2 and 2 will cancel out. So what do we get? We get AB plus BC plus CD plus AD is greater than AC plus BD. So that means yes, this relation is also true. Question number 4. The lengths of two sides of a triangle are 12 cm and 15 cm. Between what two measures should the length of the third side fall? So in So in this case, two side lengths are already given. So we have to determine the third side length and where, where, when we know that these three sides are going to form a triangle. So we will follow the same logic. That is sum of two sides must always be greater than the third side if these three sides are going to form a triangle. That means let us say that the length of the third side is x. So let us say that the length of the third side is x centimeter. So as per this property, the sum of these two sides, that is 12 plus 15, should be greater than x or we can say that 12 plus 15 is 27. 
So 27 should be greater than x. That means the value of the third side should be less than 27 centimeters. So that is one relation that we have developed. Now, the, is there any minimum value of x that is also needed? Of course, there is a minimum value as well because in this case, we are assuming that the three sides of the triangles would be 12, 15 and x. So, the way 12 plus 15 should be greater than x in a similar way, 12 plus x should also be greater than 15 because sum of any two sides should be greater than the third side. So, from this you can say that x should be greater than 15 minus 12 or you can say that x should be greater than 3. So, this is another relation that you have established. So, from these two relations you can say that the value of x should be such that it should be greater than 3 but it should be less than 27. Therefore, the range of values that x can take is from 4 cm to 26 centimeters because it cannot take the value of 3 centimeter it should be greater than 3 so it can be either 4 centimeter or it could be maximum 26 centimeters that is less than 27 so in this fashion if we know two sides of the triangle we can even determine the range within which the third side should fall so that the three sides can make up a triangle Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.